Welcome back to my channel, ladies and gentlemen. How's it going, everybody? Today we have an unboxing. I took the wrapper off of it because I didn't have a clue who it was from. So I had to look and see. So, I know. But, I wanted to show you guys the box. Otherwise, I would have just left the tube out for you guys to see the tube. And then you automatically see who it came from. But I wanted you guys to see that it actually came in a box. And it did have a plastic cover on it. Or trash bag. Whatever you may want to call it. But. You know it. The famous Treasure Studios Art Tube. This is the new tube, so it is smaller in diameter. It's not as big as the old one, I don't think. So as you see, there's the difference in the diameter of the tube. It's not much when you're looking at it. Basically, this one fits instead of that one. And has a little bit of space. But that's the smaller tube. This one here is the bigger tube. I don't know if there's a difference in size for the canvas. Or if they're all the standard size now. I do not know. Okay, so this is a 60 by 80 trapper. Leave Mary alone, please. Oh, diggy, 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 diggy. Come on, baby. It is wrapped up tight in there. No, no damage to it at all, which is absolutely awesome. Let's set this off to the side, and make sure it's not falling and making a bunch of racket and noise behind me. Like my trapper do and Mary Jane already are. Yeah. Get in your chair. Sit down and be quiet. Alright. As you see, we have a Treasure Studios art. Let me get out all of the goodness. I'm going to roll this out so it just sits flat while I go through the diamonds and everything else. That way it kind of has some time to relax. Oh my god, is that not freaking gorgeous, you guys? I'm, I'm blown away. I'm sure you guys have all seen a Treasure Studios art toolkit, but I'm going to show it to you anyway. So you get a Mosfa boat. Mosfa. Everybody always says, what's Mosfa? It's just the brand. It says Mosfa. If you can see it. Mosfa, and you get a clear pin with a plastic tip that's that's diff new, I believe. Um, you get two chunks of wax, you get a squishy, you get a four, a seven, and a straightener. These are the thin ones, so a very nice toolkit there and the pink tweezers that are trademark for treasure studios art everything is pink with her and her company which is rachel absolutely beautiful toolkit one of the best in the business as far as i'm concerned toolkit wise and it comes in a very nicely trademarked bag all right let's Get into these diamonds. I, I want to start this canvas. I think this is going to be the canvas that I start. Because everybody keeps coming to me and asking me, have you worked on new squares yet? And I keep telling everybody, no. I have not. No, I have not. So, this may be the painting that I work on. That has squares. So I may end up and start this. Work on the other one more. But work on this one. And then when I'm done with this one. Or when I'm done with the wolves. I'll start. I'll continue on to this. And then when my the event that I want to join in. In October comes. I'll switch over to that painting. And then this will just kind of be like a square. That I slowly work on. 
I think that's what I'm probably going to do because I, I really want to work on a square. I feel like I'm an affiliate. I need to work on a square diamond painting from there to tell you guys my honest opinion on squares. Um, to be honest, I quit ordering squares for a little while just because I knew that they weren't the best. Now, supposedly, not supposedly, but from what a few other creators have said, they are really nice new squares. So, I am definitely going to try them. It's either this painting or one other painting that I have that I gotten recently. I think it's actually this painting. It's, I believe it's this one. I could be wrong. I'll have to look. But there's the image. Two gorgeous parrots. This has 35 colors. Uh, scarlet macaws. One of my favorites. My papa had a scarlet. My mama had... No, my, pa my papa had a scarlet. And my papa had a, a, a blue and gold. Um, which is basically... The same same bird, except for it had a, a yellow head and blue feathers. Um, I had a military macaw, which is the biggest of the macaw family. And they're like pretty much all green with little flecks of red throughout them. If I can find a picture, I'll put up a, a, a blue and gold and the military. So I'll, I don't know if I have a picture of my 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 old bird. was na His name was Pepper. I've had multiple birds, but that was the last bird I had. So, while this sits and relaxes, I'm going to get into the diamonds first so I can check them out and show you guys. These colors are absolutely gorgeous. They're going to, they're just going to pop in this painting. This is that heavy guy down there. Look at that. 3844. Oh my god. I may end up and just start this painting when I'm finished with the wolves, just so I have something to work on in the temporary time until October comes. Because October comes, I'm working on a, and I'm working in an event that Diamond Painting within or Diamond, Angie's Diamond Painting Adventures is carrying doing. And I'm working on that event. So, I want to make time for getting my, my paintings done and not having too many on the go. But at the same time, I really need to start a square. And this one has called my name. Look at those colors. Look at this red that that shows. Oh my gosh, it's $4.98. That is a beautiful red color. Wow. These diamonds look phenomenal. Super flat backs. I'm not seeing any... I'm, I'm not seeing any bubbles in the backs. There's like all of them that I'm seeing are super flat. And I'm, I'm like rolling the bag around. Super, super flat. I'm not seeing any with issues. I'm not seeing any knobbly bits. Okay, so here's some 310. Those look flat. They look nice and square. I'll pull, pour some of these out to take a closer look. Um, Alright, I had to switch trays real quick because that small one wasn't giving me a good enough feasible space to take a look at them. Man, these look nice. I'm not seeing any knobbly bits, chunks off the sides. These are like lining up super duper like square.
look really, really nice. So I'm definitely going to have to start a square so I can tell you guys if they are good or bad. I'll give you guys my full disclosure on how I feel about them. Me being an affiliate to this company, I feel like I am obligated to work on a square. Come on, get in there. I know it's a tight fit, but you can fit! Those look really, really nice. All flat backs. Don't see any knobbly bits. Looks really clean. Now, there's like one with a f little indentation in the back. But out of all of those that I see, I only see one. But if my honest opinion, I don't think that the little hole in the back bothers too 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 much with a painting. So there's the colors. I'm gonna count them as I'm putting them away. I don't want to take up a whole big old huge long video, but Alright, there we go. I have exactly 35 colors. I can't remember when I was when I was counting. I was like, how many did I say this had in it? 35 or... Put that up in just a second. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely breathtaking. This is going to be a nice color blocking... Oh my gosh, I'm definitely starting this painting. Just, I mean, there's going to be confetti in these feathers, but a lot of color blocking. Mm. Oh my gosh. Uh, safe to say, as soon as I finish my wolves from Craftably, I'm starting this painting. And that'll give me enough time. Actually, I could probably start it now. No, I don't want to work on two paintings at one time. I'm going to finish my wolves. I'm about halfway done right now. Finish my wolves. And then I'm starting this. And that will give me like a month and a half. See, it's August. The event starts 1st of October. So, yeah, I got, I got a, a month and a half or two months before... The event starts. I should have that finished and most of this or half of this finished before I go on to the next event and then start the next painting and then when I'm done with that painting come back to this painting. Sounds like a plan to me, Stan. You know what I mean, Burn? It's actually 61 and a, 60 and a half. Not 61. And... 80 and a half. So, bingo, bango, wada wada, bing, bang. Perfect. So, that's it for me, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. Absolutely gorgeous job, Rachel, with the rendering of this file. Oh, I guess I should say who this is by. Here's the thumbnail. Hmm, that's just gorgeous. Uh, Scarlet Macaw by Deborah Dixon. 60 by 80. <sighs> I, need to, I need to work on a good TSA anyway, so definitely starting this painting.
I'm already I'm already calling it. You guys keep me in control and make sure I start this painting as soon as I'm done with my craftably. If not, I'm breaking each and every one of your arms. Got me? Got it. Cool beans. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Peace, love, and respect for all. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Trapper! Tell him bye. It's like, what the hell, asshole?